My dear tourists, I'm Princess Ina de Luzong. You can call me Ati Ina. And I'm one of your tour guides for today. And it's my pleasure to be of service to you. By the way, I would like you to meet our coach, Captain Kiko. Say hello to Kuya Kiko. Alright. In regards to our safety guidelines for us to have a smooth, flowing, fun-filled, and informative tour, I would like you to pay attention to some friendly reminders that I will be saying. But that okay, my dear tourists? Yes, of course. Thank you for that answer. So first, please be seated until the bus comes to so a full stop. Second, please take good care of your belongings. Third, please maintain cleanliness by simply disposing our trash properly. And don't forget our golden rule. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and kill nothing but time. If you have any questions, feel free to approach me or call my beautiful name. While we are waiting for our first destination, let me tell you some details about Palawan. Palawan is a long island in the west of the Philippines. It is a paradise from end to end and it is also best known for the bright blue waters that contrast with the island cross cliffs. It is one of the Philippines' most popular vacation. So one of my companions for this tour is Ate Jana. So she will be the one who will tell you some fun facts and some information or history about Palawan. Good day everyone, I'm Ate Jana and I am one of your tourist guide for today's tour. I'm going to share to you some of my knowledge about this province, about its name origin and also its history. So sit back and relax as we travel to the beautiful island of Palawan. On May 18, 1942, at the outbreak of World War II, Japanese Imperial Forces occupied Palawan. They established garrison in Coron, Puerto Princesa, and Iwahig. Consequently, guerrillas formed into three sectors led by Captain Carlos Amores in Calamianes, Dr. Higinio Mendoza Sr. in the main island, and Emilio Tugbaga in Brooks Point. Palawan was liberated by the Americans in 1945. The name Palawan was believed to come from Chinese word, Palau you meaning the land of beautiful safe harbor and in Spanish word Paragua which likens the shape of an island to a closed umbrella. Hello our dear tourists, I am Ate Sayri, one of your tour guides for today. Are you all excited to see our first tourist spot? Of course! But first, let us have a short knowledge about the Puerto Princesa. So we are now here in Palawan. Our first stop is Puerto Princesa. As you all know, Puerto Princesa is the capital of the island province of Palawan. This city has been acclaimed several times as the cleanest and greenest city in the Philippines. It is the center of trade, commerce, communication, education, and government service. Puerto Princesa is rich with natural wonders, aside from being the home of the well-renewed UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is rich with beautiful waterfalls, surreal rivers, wildlife rich, and biodiversity. 
Puerto Princesa is also known as the Princess City in the Last Frontier. So now, we are approaching one of the famous tourist spot here is Puerto Princesa Underground River, also known as the Puerto Princesa Sovereignian River National Park is a protected area in the Philippines. This park is located in St. Paul Mountain Range on the western coast of the island Palawan. The cave boats picture square stalactite, stalagmite formation cave by nature over millennia. You'll also find several bats, birds, reptile, both in around the park. So don't miss the unique opportunity to explore a cave and cruise through a river at the same time. And that is it for our first tourist spot. So now, let's proceed to our next destination to be discussed by Ate Den. I am your next tour guide here in Palawan and you can call me Ate Den. And I will bring you in Honda Bay. But before we arrive to our destination, let me give you a brief description about Honda Bay. Honda Bay is a bay on the east coast of Palawan near the city of the Puerto Princesa in the southwestern of the Philippines. Honda Bay is known for its white sand beaches, wonderful landscapes, and coral reef. And now we're arriving to our destination. This tour will let you play in the sun all day away from the busy streets of Puerto Princesa. Honda Bay Island hopping tour to go snorkeling and see the wonderful under gardens of Honda Bay. Honda Bay is famous for its island hopping, snorkeling, diving, and water activities such as banana boat riding, kayaking, jet ski, and many more. To our next destination, let us call our next tourist guide. Mabuhay, our dear tourists! I am at Katie and I am one of your tour guides for today. We are now at our last destination. Welcome to Palawan Rescue and Wildlife Conservation Center, also known as the Crocodile Farm. This project aims to sustainably conserve the Philippine crocodile, saltwater crocodile, and as well as other endangered species to promote social economic well-being of Filipinos through developing and introducing suitable crocodile farming technology. On your left side, as you can see, there are crocodiles roaming around the place. This 8-acre wildlife center can accommodate up to 4,000 animals. Here, you can learn more about the endangered creatures and get a close look at them. You will also pay a visit to the crocodile skeleton exhibit. And on your right side, the hatching house to see baby crocodiles that you can pet with supervision. And to your left side, the swamp enclosure that you can also fit on a bridge. Apart from the crocodiles, there is also a mini zoo and wildlife park that houses different species of birds, mammals, reptiles, and other animals found in Palawan and are allowed to roam freely. Fun fact about crocodile is that they swallow stone to improve their digestion. 
crocodile swallows stones to help with basic digestion. Crocs in a crocodile's stomach help crush and eat food and are particularly useful for those in the whole brain. Mabuhay, lovely tourists! Sadly, we are now at the end of our tour. I know we have visited a lot of beautiful places and attractions like the Underground River, Hond Bay, and the Crocodile Farm, and we hope you enjoyed our bowling tour and also learned a lot from us. Please do check your Sydney because we can eat a crocodile and we can Before leaving the bus, please check your belongings and pick up the litters. Once again, thank you for being part of our tour and let us give thanks to our coach, Captain Kiko, for helping us with our rolling tour for today and for driving safely. Take care everyone and have a nice day. Till our next tour.